hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here from what we have here this follows what we have a raised to the power m plus n this same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n at this here we have 3 raised to the power x times 3 raised to the power 1 then plus also here this follows when we have a raised to the power m minus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. At this here we have 3 raised to the power x over 3 raised to the power 1, then equals to 100 from here. Then, here we can write this as 3 raised to the power x times 3 raised to the power 1, that's 3, then plus. Also, here we have 3 raised to the power x times. 1 over 3 then equals to 100 from here and from here we have 3 raised to the power is common factor it out and this becomes 3 raised to the power x into brackets 3 plus 1 over 3 here equals to 100 from here then we bring this together as one fraction this is 3 over 1 at this we have 3 raised to the power x into brackets SCM here that's 3 and we have 1 in 3 that's 3 3 times 3 that's 9 plus 3 in 3 1 1 times 1 that's 1 then equals to 100 from here that is here we have 3 raised to the power x times 9 plus 1 that's 10 over 3 then equals to 100 from here. The next step, we remove this 10 over 3 and multiply both sides by reciprocal, which is 3 over 10. Let's just multiply this side as well by 3 over 10. Sorry, we have 3 over 10. And this here cancelled each other here. Then what we have becomes 3 raised to the power x equals to 100 times 3 over 10 that is yeah 10 goes here 1 and 10 goes in 110 that is we have 3 raised to the power x equals to 10 times 3 then here we take the log on both sides that is we have log 3 raised to the power x equals to log 10 times 3 here. Then, here we apply the power law of log n. When we have log n raised to power p, this is the same thing as p log m. At this here, we have x log 3 equals to log 10 times 3 here. At this here, we divide both sides by log 3. Divide this side by log 3. Also, divide this side by log 3. Which implies that log 3 cancelled each other. And we have x equals to log 10 times 3 over log 3. Then here, this follows the log log ring. When we have log a, times b this same thing as log a plus log b that is here yeah, we have x equals to log 10 plus log 3 over log 3 then we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 10 over log 3 plus log 3 over log 3 then here log 3 cancel each other we have one left which implies x equals to log 10 over log 3 plus 1 and also here we can express 10 as 2 times 5. 
then what we have becomes x equals to log 2 times 5 over log 3 plus 1. This also follows the log logarithm, and we have x equals to log 2 plus log 5 over log 3 plus 1. That is, x step here, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 2 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 plus 1. Then we apply change of base A. When we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 plus 1. That is the value of x here we have log 2 base 3 plus log 5 is 3 plus 1. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 plus 1. Then, what we have here becomes 3 raised to power log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 plus 1. Then we still have plus 1 here, then plus also 3 raised to power log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 plus 1. Then we have minus 1 here. Is it equals to 100 on this side? That is, here we have 1 plus 1 that's 2. Can rise as 3 raised to power log 2. Base 3 plus log 5 base 3 plus 2, then plus also 3 raised to power. Here we have 1 minus 1. Let's cancel out. This remain log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. This is equal to 100 on this side. Then here we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n is same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is here, this becomes 3 raised to power log 2 base 3, then 3 raised to power log 5 base 3, then 3 raised to power 2, then plus also here we have 3 raised to power log. 2 base 3, then 3 raised to power log 5 base 3. This is equals to 100 on this side. Then this here follows when we have a raised to power log b to this a. This is same thing as b. At this here, we have 2 times 5 times 3 squared, that's 9. Then plus here also we have two times five, which is equal to hundred on this side. At this here we have two times five, ten, and ten times nine that's twenty plus two times five that's ten is equal to hundred on this side. And of course ninety plus ten gives us hundred, which is equal to hundred. From here that is left hand side is equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude here that x equals to log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 plus 1.
satisfy this gaming problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the description below share this video with them so put your comments see you next class and bye for now